Hey YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to install a Cyanogen mod Android on HP Touchpad. Um, I could have done this like long time ago when in the initial version came out but I was waiting for uh, it to get fixed and I think uh, um, the version currently they have, the Alpha 3, it's, uh, it's much stable and uh, uh, it has, you know, most of the bugs are gone, uh, the major ones, so I think it's a good time to uh, show you guys. Now, whatever I show you today, um, it may change very soon because, you know, um, uh, the Cyanogen mod uh, Android has a lot of updates. So right now there is Alpha 3, but I'm going to show you the files which you're supposed to download, even if they, you get an update, so you're supposed to get that updated file, but the rest of the things just going to remain same. So when you go on a Cyanogen mod form, uh, link will be in the description. But when you go to that form, um, what you want to do is you want to scroll down. Uh, you want to read all this information if you want to. If not, then just skip it and go to the download links. Now, what you want to download for sure is uh, the Acme installer, which is uh, Readme and installer. Um, Uninstallers, if you of course, if you want to remove uh, Cyanogen mod uh, Android. Now here you want to download a latest version of a Cyanogen mod. Now the update right now, this one is the update CM 7.1.0 Tenderloin A3. So this is the Alpha 3 version. Now if you see this video after a month or so, probably it will have Alpha 4 or maybe uh, 7.2 or something else. But you want to make sure that you wanna uh, uh, you want to download whatever the last version of uh, Cyanogen mod uh, is available. You want to download that. Another thing you want to download is uh, whatever version they have for the uh, Clockwork Recovery mod. Um, and one more thing you want to download is Moboot. Um, after that, you want to download uh, Google Apps add-on. These things will be required to sign in and stuff. So, but the main thing you're going to need for sure is a mobile clocker kicker remod and Cyanogen mod, uh, of course, uh, the Android version and the Acme installer. These things you're going to need for sure. Now, um, whatever it could be, uh, you know, whatever version it is, uh, you'll find it here just read the name and you'll get it. Once you click on the link uh, you'll go into something like this and it will ask you to wait if uh, and it's gonna start download automatic by itself. Uh, here I have some downloads so I already downloaded it. You copy it and put it in your uh, uh, you put it in your uh, desktop. Um, make a folder named Android or CM7 or whatever you like. Now another thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to go to your C drive or your major drive where the program files are. You go in your program files and then you will have a PAM Inc folder. So here we have a PAM Inc. Now this folder is going to, uh, it's a part of a Novacom driver installation. If you don't have this, uh, what you can do is uh, while you put the tablet in USB mode, it is going to install it. Um, you can check my video on force update for um, uh, from 3.0.2 to 3.0.4. If you see that video, you will see that how this installation works. And uh, also, if you install Preware, then also uh, it's gonna um, uh, it's gonna install it by itself. So once you have a palming folder, here you have a Novacom D terminal and uh, uh, Novacom exe file, uh, and you're gonna copy. Acme installer and readme. Uh, you're gonna extract WinZip file in this folder. So these are the uh, files I have on my Android folder, and uh, uh, one of them is Moboot. Another one is a uh, actual uh, Android uh, update. Um, uh, Cyanogen mod, a Clockwork mod. I have a uh, Android App Store and uh, a GTalk uh, add-on and this is Acme Installer. So now I'm going to double click on uh, Acme Installer SIP 
and what I'm gonna find here is Acme installer and readme you drag those and put it in the Pam Inc folder and it's gonna ask you some stuff like this you continue it and it's gonna copy those files here so now I'm gonna go to my touchpad now this touchpad has a uh, it's running on a 3.0.4 it uh, does not have a preware or anything installed in it so uh, you don't have to worry about it now I'm gonna plug it in uh, I'm gonna connect it uh, through USB and as soon as I connect it it's gonna give me an option right here so you will connect it uh, you put it in a USB drive mode oh, it's giving me help information and I'm gonna put it in a USB drive mode okay there it is and here I will get HP touchpad so I'm going to click on it and once we are in here we'll copy those files from the Android folder now on a touchpad drive I'm gonna uh, create a folder and I'm gonna name it C M C M install. I will open that folder and I'll copy the files uh, except the Acme installer to that folder. So we have files here. So everything is on here. Now go back to your uh, my computer and uh, right click and eject. So once you eject, you will get back on the screen here. Now what you will do is you will shut it down. Hold on the power button and you shut down your device okay it's turned off now now what you do is you hold on to uh, let me turn on the light so you can see uh, you hold on to a power button and a volume up key together till you see a USB sign in here there it is now um, for uh, Windows and Mac users we want to go into a PAM Inc folder in program files and from there you want to open this Acme install readme uh, in this readme file if you will uh, go through it like with a glance uh, you will see a point where uh, I think it's it will tell you what to do um, uh, at, the, at the command prompt so what you want to do here is a novacom this is for Windows users novacom boot mam colon and I can installer and that's what you want to type in your uh, uh, in your Windows command prompt if you are a Mac user for Mac users uh, uh, you have to go to the terminal which is uh, accessible from applications utilities and terminal and then you do the same thing for other OS's there's also in, in information here uh, on 
Ubuntu and Linux users there's also information here so Windows users uh, you go into start menu and type in CMD and you'll see it this and you'll hit enter you'll go into your user mode where you're gonna type CD dot dot enter you do it one more time CD dot dot enter so you'll be in, in your C drive now here you want to type CD change directory space program space files enter here you want to do CD P A L M comma ink enter and here we're gonna type in that command um, to uh, to boot into uh, or to start installing Android so now we go back to that readme file we have uh, in a PAM ink folder in program files we copy this line um, just to you know make sure we don't make any mistake so you copy up to installer you hit control C you copy that and you go back to your uh, terminal window or command prompt now when you reach to your command window you right click and you hit paste and you hit enter now it's gonna do some process and here on the touchpad you'll see this it's installing the stuff now we have to make sure one thing that your touchpad has at least two gigabyte free um, and we wait for this to get over now it's restarting this is what you're gonna get now in case if you if your system gets stuck in between uh, what you do is uh, um, you you are going to hold on to volume up key and a power button for a few seconds and it's gonna uh, start moving forward in case if that happens um, yeah now what I'm gonna do is this I think it, this is booting into uh, web OS mode um, okay now once you get to the mobile screen you're gonna use the volume up and down key to move it around um, and you're gonna boot cyanogen mod you're gonna hit the home button and here it's going to load this And uh, there you are. That's your Android. Okay, now if you want to switch back to, as you see, it works perfectly fine. And it has those uh, buttons in the bottom. Uh, as you see it in the standard uh, Android operating system. So now what we will do is, we will hold on to power button and we will going to reboot and if you want to reboot to webOS you can reboot to webOS 
Uh, if you just want to reboot into Android, you can do that too. Uh, there is an option here. You can select these, and uh, you can. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is uh, this is it. Um, um, all the information uh, you will be needing, I will post it in uh, uh, in the in the description. Um, make sure the names uh, of those files uh, they remain as it is. Uh, uh, what I mean by that is if you download multiple files of the same name uh, Windows has, has this tendency to uh, name it 1, 2 and 3 if you do that it may not install Android uh, correctly so let's say you have a name uh, this one here has a 1 in parenthesis you're not supposed to have that so just make sure that you have uh, you know uh, the name just like this so it can install it if not then there is an option where you can go ahead and update and uh, install it um, but yeah for now uh, this is the instructions uh, whenever there is an update I will post the video on how to update it thank you very much for watching if you like this video well, like it uh, rate comment subscribe thank you very much